Demon Dyads, Manny G here, checking in with you. The Red Sox take their second straight game in Toronto, 10-5. The hit parade continues for Boston. Brian Johnson on the start and pitching end has his best start of the season. Seven innings pitched, uh, six hits scattered. He gave up five earned runs, walked two, struck out six through 98 pitches, but he got through seven innings, which to me is the longest start of his season. And when your team scores 10 and you give up five, you get the W. So Johnson's second straight uh, win, well deserved. Ryan Brazier and Joe Kelly chip in with two scoreless innings. And let's get to the hitting. Mookie Betts, top of the order. One for four, his average is at 340. Leads the, major, uh, leads the American League. Andrew Benintendi finally over the 300 clip. As he goes two for two with an RBI, he now has 67, 68 RBIs, which is second on the team. Excuse me, I apologize. He has 67 RBIs, which is third on the team. Xander Borgatz had three RBIs tonight, along with uh, only one hit, which was an RB uh, three-run double, giving him 68 RBIs, which is an amazing year for Borgatz as far as power-wise, which is something we've been waiting for for the last few years. He's finally slugging and hitting doubles at an amazing rate. His home runs are up a little bit, but I think that will come in time as everybody else wishes it will. J.D. Martinez, the MVP of the American League, doesn't disappoint again. Three for four, he's now hitting a season high 332. Knocked in another run, giving him 98 on the year, which leads the major leagues. He also leads the major leagues in home runs with 34 and slugging percentage as well. Rafael Divas hit the only home run for the Red Sox, his 16th and his first game back off the DL. Knocked in two, giving him 54 RBIs on the season. Mitch Wallen got the start, got the uh, offense going in the third with a two-run double. He has 57 RBIs, which is the most RBIs he's had in the last couple of seasons. And he got things cranking off early on when the Red Sox needed a big hit. He started the thumping with, the, like I said, a two-run double. The Sox continue to win. They were season-high 30. 47 games over 500. They're 81 and 34. They've never been this good in franchise history. They go for the sweep tomorrow as Rick Porcello takes the mound to try to continue his masterpiece of four straight starts with one earned run of fuel. Check in then. Have a good night.